So what we're reporting on today, Leesburg have been given the green light to build the brand new Grand Curiosa Hotel in 2023. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coast Chai YouTube channel, Don Castleborn, Bob Bill for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News room update from Leesburg. Now this might be my uni induction day, but I don't start till the afternoon, so I'm recording, but not releasing yet, two fantastic new news stories from Potsdam, Japan and Leesburg here in Europe. Now of course these have been released... Uh, well, you can see it now, but it's been released this evening, as is the other video today from Leesburg, so stay, uh, from Pops on Japan, sorry, so stay tuned from that. We are doing Leesburg right now. Uh, so we do have some new official details. The green light has been given for a new Mammoth Hotel project to open for the 100th anniversary in 2023, and we've got all the details. So we're going to be sharing some concept art on your screen, officially by Leesburg, so a big uh, thank you to Leesburg for um, the images, for releasing these images so we can all see them and bask in its glory. Uh, but yeah, big thank you to releasing the concept art Leesburg uh, because these look fantastic. And here we go, this is the Grand Curiosa Hotel. So here's some official stats for the new hotel. Uh, but, uh, so I'll put that concept art on your screen now. Found a bit Aussie. And let's have a look at some stats and some statistics uh, for the new Leesburg Hotel. So it's going to be located at the south entrance. Uh, with the approval of the board, the detailed plans have now been announced. So the Leesburg Hotel will be called the Grand Curiosa Hotel and it will cost about 1.179 million Swedish kroner, which is about 110 million euros, which I've escalated to around 97.3 million pounds. After more than two years planning work, the Leesburg Board of Directors approved the calculation of the hotel part of the project on September 23rd, 2019, so a couple of days ago. Uh, and this will allow Leesburg to finally begin construction. The CEO of the anniversary project at Leesburg, Thomas Stjostrand, I think that's how it's pronounced, Stjostrand, I don't know that's how it's pronounced, uh, said, we intended to sign an agreement with a contractor soon and we are working to open the hotel in time for Leesburg's 100th anniversary in 2023. So the park have called it Gothenburg's most imaginative family hotel. So it's a nice family hotel. First of all, can I just say the concept art doesn't remind you of like Harry Potter style magic. Just putting that out there. I'll talk more about that later. Um, so here's some official stats then for the hotel. So the park have said they've got a slide between the floors, which is pretty cool for a family hotel, and a fully functioning pony carousel from 1923 in the restaurant. The Leesburg feeling follows guests from check-in to the pillow. The new hotel will be built on a total area of around 29,000 square meters, with a total of 457 rooms, all of which will have at least five beds. The hotel restaurant will have 790 seats, plus 130 seats on the terrace. On the roof of the hotel, a bistro with 220 seats inside and 180 seats outside is also being constructed. Several meeting and event rooms are also integrated into the hotel. So Leesburg plans to start building work in the fall of 2019 and to carry out the first visible preparatory work. In addition to the hotel should also be a large water park. The plans for this are expected to be adopted by the Executive Board of Leesburg in the 2020 season. So, that is all then. Now, of course, we did speak in an earlier video uh, about plans for a possible hotel and a hypercoaster. Now, the hypercoaster might come later, or it could just be on there to show space. However, there was plans for a hotel and water park for 2023. Well, at least between 2021 and 2023. Now, we originally thought this project, Gossamborg 2021, which the water park, will be coming uh, beforehand. Now, of course, when, again, there's no opening date confirmed for this water park, but we believe it to be between 2021 and 2023. But I wouldn't be surprised if Leesburg decided to hold off on those water park plans and build it uh, in 2023 with the hotel. But that could it could still be a 2021. We could still see the water park in 2021 and the Grand Curiosa Hotel open for the 100th anniversary in 2023. That's what they're working with with the hotel. Water park, we don't know yet. 
We know that White Water, uh, White Water, the manufacturer of these water slides, have been delivering some water slides to Leesburg, so we know that they're in on the project. Um, if there's any other slides manufacturers like Process Technology, I'm sure they're going to want in on the project on a couple of projects in terms of water slides. But White Water have been delivering some parts for water slides, so I'm sure there's going to be more than just White Water in on the water slides, unless it's a strictly forbidden contract where White Water do the water slides only and there's no other manufacturers doing water slides. Again, we don't know. But all we know is that White Water are going to be in on that project. And originally it was going to be 2021. However, there's a chance now it could be 2023 to open with the hotel. So this gives me high expectations for the water park's name and theme because, of course, you saw by the concept art on your screen, this new Grand Curiosa Hotel looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. And by 2023, I'll be off uni. I'll be doing this for you guys full time. Fingers crossed. And um, yeah, it, that this is a hotel that I would stay in for my first ever visit to Leesburg. I think, you know, I'm ambitious when it comes to trips beyond 2021. So I'm going to set myself a goal for 2023. I'm going to set myself a goal to stay. To, for 2023 to be my first ever trip out to Leesburg. I may come back later on if they build the hypercoaster, uh, but definitely 2023 will be hopefully my first ever visit to Leesburg. That's my goal, that's my plan for you guys. 2023, at least, maybe before, maybe after, take, your play, uh, take you guys to Leesburg uh, for some vlogs, some off ride shots, maybe some POVs. Uh, the coasters, if you can. Not that you can, though, but um, if you can, then fair enough. If you can't, just some great off-ride shots for you guys. And, yeah, my aim is to stay in the Grand Curiosa Hotel on its opening year. Maybe even its opening day. I, I don't know. Maybe even opening day. Um, so, there we go. So, that's just a look at all the details. But, like I said earlier, doesn't that concept art look very Wizarding World of Harry Potter-like? Or... Anyone from the UK will know the Enchanted Village, the lodge accommodation at Alton Towers Resort uh, here in the UK. Um, you'll see the magic and the sort of fairy tale kingdom that that imagination brings out of the Enchanted Village accommodation at Alton Towers. And you sort of, you can see that magic and that fairy tale enchantment sort of being brought from the Enchanted Village. And it seems like it spread itself into like a Fantastic Beasts um, and where to find them, Harry Potter. It's, the hotel is like something out like of JK Rowling. It is literally a magical destination for families. And it is the most magical family destination in Gothenburg. I think the, the quote says it all. I think it will be Gothenburg's most uh, magical family destination or whatever it was. Uh, but I definitely think it will live up to that quote. Uh, that Leesburg quoted about the hotel. I think that whole sentence just sums up the, the project, in my opinion. Uh, so like we said, construction work is expected to start in the fall of 2019. I don't think I'm going to be down at the park to follow construction updates on site. However, I will do my best to try and bring you as many construction updates as I can uh, through pictures, anything the park releases uh, that I can use. Um, and yeah, basically I'll try my best to sort of use that and sort of uh, bring you guys up to speed with what's happening uh, with construction on this hotel project. So, of course, I did already report on some leaked details on a f on the flume ride being removed for a new Chapas-style log flume for the 100th anniversary as well. So, I think this will be Leesburg, one of Leesburg's biggest investment years in so long if you're going to get this Chapas-style flume ride in the park and, of course, the Grand Curiosity Hotel. And if it's if it, if the opening of the water park has been delayed to the opening of the hotel, that's three massive projects: a water park, a hotel, and a new Chapas style flume ride, uh, replacing the original flume ride, uh, the, the the original flume attraction called Flume Ride. Um, now, of course, if you want to check out that video, go and check out the Leesburg playlist. We've got all our news updates. We've done news updates on their new children's dart ride for next year. We did the announcement of it, and we also did. Uh, a video before that, which is the first video we did on Leesburg, which is uh, the plans being announced before the actual announcement of the name and stuff like that. Uh, we also talked about Leesburg's uh, next flat ride, where that could be, what it will be. Uh, there's loads of videos on Leesburg, so make sure you go and check out that playlist for more on Leesburg. And I've got a feeling we'll be reporting on Leesburg for quite some time now. That Leesburg place is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Leesburg, but Coaster fans, 
I know that this hotel project is fantastic and everything, but this isn't the video you were looking for. It's the Plop Slander Pound 1 for 2021. That's the video you're looking for. Stay tuned for that video. That's going to be coming out later on. Um, we'll be talking about their brand new coaster, and it's by Mac, so stay tuned. Uh, as well as some other projects in the works over there. Make sure you go check out our video yesterday, our review from Nemesis. Those of you who have read the community post will know I'm going through a personal tough time uh, in the family, so you know that I didn't want to release anything or that I've recorded on the day, so you'll know why I, I uploaded my review that I recorded a few days ago. Thanks for all the support, by the way, on the community post. It really means a lot. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Just the Coast Child logo, but everything in the description um, in that community post will be what it's about. So, uh, thank you to all the support, guys. It really means a lot. And uh, I am doing better now. Thank you very much, for us. Um, if you want to know, uh, I am doing a bit better now. Um, you know, the, uh, the process and stuff like that. If you've read it, you'll know. But the process hasn't started yet until it, you know, it happens. So, um... You know, it's a tough time at the minute, but thank you very much to all the support. It really means a lot. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and check on the community. It's all there. And again, thank you very much to all the support messages for that. So thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shout. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.